For those of you that have a family cat, you're going to understand exactly what I'm talking about right from the get-go. But for those of you that may be dog people, or for those of you that don't have any animals at all, this may be a little bit different for you, and I appreciate that. My wife and I, and children, were dog people for many, many years, and we found that having dogs was a great pleasure. Um, they came when you called them, they sat when you asked them to sit, and they pretty much did whatever you wanted to do. Well, then came the kittens. My daughter introduced us to kittens, and we brought them in the house, and lo and behold, the kittens ended up in the sewing room, and I remember the first time I tried to get the kittens out of the sewing room, and it was impossible. I mean, I was pulling my hair out, trying to figure out how to get these kittens out of the sewing room. And my daughter, who is a veterinary technician and a uh, master psychologist as it comes to animals, especially cats, she said to me, she said, Dad, what you need to figure out is what motivates them, not what motivates you. Because if you can figure out what motivates them, then they will respond to that. And she said, and the good news is, you can find something they'll be motivated by. It will either be a food snack, it will be an empty box, it will be a tinkling sound, or it will be a moving feather. Figure it out, and you'll get the cats out of the sewing room. And she was right. And it was an important lesson to be learned because although with dogs, you may be able to tell them what to do, with cats, with customers and employees, finding out what really motivates them and figuring out a way to bring that to them will get you far better results. And we're all motivated by something. It may not be a shiny light, it may not be a tinkling sound, but it has to do with who we are and what our personality is and what makes us tick. And just think about this. We may be very motivated to do things that we like, but we're even more strongly motivated to avoid things that we don't like. Understand the nature of the person that you're working with so you can figure out whether or not it is the empty box or the tinkling sound. And when you can deliver that, then you can motivate people just the way we motivated the kittens to do what we wanted them to do. Thanks for your attention.